Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. If you're new to my channel, what we do here is we make art out of the simple things we have around our house. So that might mean you need to collect some recycling, which you're going to use today. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a collaged image out of some cardboard, maybe some cut up paper. We really want to layer it and I want it to come away from the paper as much as you can. And we're just going to build it up with some geometric shapes. It's nothing going to be super complicated. We're going to leave some pretty basic colors. So you can use markers, crayons, color pencils, whatever you want to do to color your cardboard. And that's all we're going to need. So let's go get our supplies and get started. The first thing you want to do is gather your supplies. So I have my base paper, which I've decided to go with an orange, but you could also do a piece of cardboard or a canvas even to give it a little bit more body. And then you want to collect some cardboard. And I like the way that when I ripped it, I got this texture to it. It kind of reminds me of like hills. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I really like how that came off. It was just from a box. I ripped off some cardboard. I gathered my markers, scissors, blue, and then a variety of colorful paper, some pages from a book that's falling apart they've been using for art, some foam, and then some old art that I don't like that I can cut apart. Or I like, but I'm, you know, over it. Time to give it some new life. So now we're just going to cut some simple shapes. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do all my cutting right away. So I'm going to cut some triangles. I'm going to cut some squares, some rectangles, and you can do big and small. You may not use all of this, but I like to keep a basket of these things for later if you want to do the project again or a different project. You can even mix in some geometric shapes. And organic shapes, organic means like soft, curvy lines that you see in nature. I'm going to save this. I like this for down here, I think. So if I have this one down there too. And you can color your cardboard with marker or you could leave the cardboard color if you like it. cardboard cut up. I can go ahead and cut up some of my other fun papers. And you see I use all my paper. I kind of just take the way the paper is going and I just make a cut and I let it fall off to get different shapes. And just like we did for the Picasso face, we are going to play with how these shapes can go on the paper. I also have some foam if you want, but I, I like the color palette I'm going with right here. I think I might leave that alone. And I can always decide I want to cut up more later. Now we're going to start to arrange and I want you to think about depth. So we can stack cardboard on top of each other to get it to come away and towards us. So we can play with adding the shapes so they come towards and I am really excited about this. I'm going to save these papers for the end because they're so flat. I'm going to play with my cardboard first and you can even play with what side of your cardboard showing like I have some white definitely going to let some of the white show. I'll mix it up. I don't like that one, so I'll leave the cardboard brown side showing. Don't like that. So 
Okay. So I kind of sort my things out. And let's start to see what we can get. I play with every aspect. And you might want to think bigger ones go back, smaller ones start to go on top. So I could do something like that. And once they're glued, they'll stay up. And you could have like a, an image in mind, like do you want like a dog? Or we can go abstract with it. I'm gonna keep mine abstract. I'm gonna think about movement. So I want my lines to kind of go this way, up and through the page. You can even break off the page, like have it literally come off your base layer. And just because you cut it doesn't mean you have to use it. And just because you put something down doesn't mean it needs to stay there. I think that's roughly what I want for my cardboard. Now I can think about, am I happy with it? Do I need to add anything more? And this is just a rough idea of what's going where because once you glue it, you can get it a little bit more exact. So I think I'm happy with how this looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue it. And you could have yours even coming further up off your page or less. That's up to you. So here is my finished collaged drawing. It's loosely a drawing or a painting or a sculpture, actually, because the way it comes off the page. And I even broke the plane. Breaking the plane means it comes off of your base layer. And I really like how this looks. There's a lot of movement through it. I could even maybe add one more piece because I feel like I want something coming from here. I see a lot of movement in it. I feel the space and the breath in between all my objects. And I want you to play. What can you create with some of the things out of your recycling bin? So I hope you had fun making your 3D drawing, collage, painting, whatever yours turned out to be. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like mine. I think I might actually put it up or frame it. 
or maybe it's the start to an idea. Maybe this sparks some creativity for you to do something else. Maybe you do this on a canvas. Maybe you do this with paint chips. Anything you can think of, I hope it just sparks some creativity in you and you enjoyed what you made. So remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Let me know how it went. And if you like my channel, subscribe so you get notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I post a new video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.